stolen vehicle. Every day starts off with me downloading a hot list off the Virginia State Police website. Basically, a hot list contains um, different license plate information, whether it be a uh, stolen vehicle, stolen license plate, terrorist organization member, or wanted person, uh, or missing person. Um, it's updated every day. So I download the current one and start it in my system. Um, it downloads onto a uh, USB thumb drive. Since starting with the system in March, I've recovered 18 stolen vehicles using the system. Um, I've also been using it to help others with investigations. Um, there are many obvious uh, uses for LPR in law enforcement, uh, but I think the uh, most value um, that law enforcement agencies can get from the LPRs, uh, those are not so obvious. Um, to put it in perspective, the Alexander Police Department uses place-based or hotspot strategies to combat crime and disorder in our neighborhoods. And what we've trained our officers to do is um, obviously to respond to those areas while they're on routine patrol or when they're specifically assigned to those areas um, and use many tools that are available to them. The LPR is an, an additional tool that we use in the hotspots um, with specific um, uh, objectives. One is to, to gain an understanding for, for what cars are, are in the area and the general activities that are going on in the area. Um, we are now also moving toward a command center uh, software and server where we can actually search our, our uh, license plates that uh, have been run. Um, and once we do that, we're going to gain incredible investigative um, knowledge. What's captured in, in one of our reads is the vehicle uh, tag, the license plate, uh, a black and white and a color picture, uh, and I believe an infrared picture of the tag, and uh, the GPS location of the vehicle. With this technology, we'll be able to find, you know, as it's running the tags, we'll find all those stolen cars. Uh, and with that officer being in that neighborhood, you know, it may displace or you know, people see him, the criminals may not want to steal a car or do anything while he's there because he's in the area. Stolen vehicle. The data that these units, the LPR units are gathering is uh, protected by law. It is law enforcement um, sensitive data. And I think that those two things um, and overall transparency in the program explain it, show it, put it out in your citizens' academies uh, with your civic liaisons. The more they know and the more they see it and touch it, um, the better off uh, the implementation will be.